East Northport Jewish Center is proud to present Parasha Poetry with Rabbi Ian Silverman. This week, Parashat Vayachel. The tabernacle's construction is the topic of our text, Israel's atonement for the God they had vexed. By making the gold idol and calling it God, not only was this blasphemous, blasphemous it was for them quite odd. For only weeks earlier, they'd promised to do in here, and suddenly in panic pulled gold from their ears. They come now to the women who'd steadfastly refused to offer their gold for this idol-making ruse. They now gave their bracelets, the women, necklaces and earrings, to the gold, silver, and bronze amassing in the clearing. These women of valor woven spun linen, the fabrics of the Mishkan, how glorious are women. Our sage explains to us, they couldn't slip from grace. They had acquired soul purity for the human race. For in all saying we'll do and we'll hear, we achieved a status of, of immortality near. And since it was Eve, not Adam, who tarnished us at first, it was our Jewish women folk who wanted this reverse. Since nobody's perfect and there's greed and war, we need to grasp Torah's rules and our God adore. To the extent we can rise to the challenge of mitzvah, we can at least refine ourselves to give us hope, tikva. The Mishkan reminds us then with its ark and its lumber that deep within two tablets do slumber. The heart, it has two sides, you see, the good and the not great but in channeling them righteousness we create. The Israelites atoned with silver and gold and wood pelts and fabric too numerous to hold. The workers start drowning in all that they'd collected. Moses tells the people halt the sacred works affected. Everyone wanted their mark on the shrine where love of God and God's own love did intertwine. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you will like it, subscribe to our channel, hit the bell for notifications, and tune in next week for another edition of Parasha Poetry with Rabbi Ian Silverman.